Hello everyone, I'm very glad that you're here, uh, Hayward, California. Uh, I'm here to speak about my journey, about fulfilling my passion with, uh, with my art. Um, and um, it's, it's really, f for me at least, it's, it's quite an extra, uh, extraordinary uh, journey uh, that uh, I would like to share it with you. Um, I never went to an art school and didn't even paint uh, before I was 40. I started my painting lessons with an old Israeli masters in uh, old Jaffa, Tel Aviv. Um, I was his uh, sole student for seven years. Um, and he was teaching, you know, in the old uh, master's, um, uh, master's way, uh, old master techniques. For two years, for example, he taught me only to, to draw. We, we draw with charcoals and, and pencils, uh, not using colors at all for two years. So all the basics of painting and drawing I know, I know from him. Um, and uh, I learned with him for seven years till he died in 2002. <coughs> At this stage, I knew that there is something there, that there is something in the art world that um, uh, I would like to, to, to grasp, to, uh, to implement into my life, but not in this way, not in the conventional way, not in the, the old master's way. I, I, I knew that I need to, uh, to find my own path in the, in the art world. Um, and um, <coughs> for example, I wanted to paint galaxies and stars. This is what was in me. I, I studied it, I, I searched. For it, but for seven years, when I uh, learned with my master, he didn't allow me um, uh, to uh, to do that. Uh, but after my my uh, master death, uh, I see uh, I see painting for six months. It um, it wasn't just the loss of a person I loved and appreciated, um, but basically an an end of an era. Um, uh, and um, then I waited. I, I waited to, to start again. Uh, it was then that I found myself uh, meditating in nature um, and felt fully connected uh, to myself and to all what, uh, what surrounded me, the, the earth, the starry night. Uh, <coughs> um, I had a great, suddenly, uh, I had a great desire to, to paint again. The, the free spirit period in, uh, in my life started. And... Um, I felt completely free to do whatever I want. I hadn't someone to, to tell me, I hadn't this master that stood upon me and said, this is the way, or this is the way. No, I, I just uh, did whatever I want. And I started to experiment. I experiment with colors, with, with ingredients. I used, um, uh, I start to, to combine uh, oil and acrylic together. Then I mixed uh, tar with it. Then I uh, used lacquers. Um, it was a fantastic, a, a period of experimentation um, and um, then I just went to nature I went to nature um, I knew that that I have some somehow to leave the path of the the figurative the, the classic figurative painter that, that that I have become then after those teachings so I went to nature <coughs> without an easel and brushes put a canvas on the ground and use my body to form and shape the paints uh, on the canvas. Um, I was just dancing, celebrating um, uh, my aliveness in nature. Um, I was in awe of the stars above and felt united with the planet Earth and what, uh, all what was living upon it. Um, and it was a really deep feeling um, uh, of belonging. I felt that the space is not millions of light years away, uh, but an integral part of what I am, um, an aspect of everlasting collective consciousness. I let it all flow naturally onto the canvas. Um, it really fulfilled my inner quest for meaning and connection. I've always asked myself questions about um, who I am, about what is my destiny here, about what is the meaning of being a human being. Um, and um, I, I looked um, in a lot of uh, spiritual paths, uh, traveled around the world to explore my passion, read a lot of books. Um, and then I realized that when I paint in this new way, I'm like everything that I'm looking for. And it, and it was all connected. And, and, and all I need is to be open, experience the magnificence of life, and express it on the canvas. 
Um, and it really helped me to transcend my mundane life um, of a home, family, job, responsibilities, and, and connect to the authentic essence of life. I didn't use traditional art techniques um, or followed any conventional modalities. I made experiences, just experiences. As I told you, pouring um, the diverse media on, on the canvas, lacquers, tar, uh, oil colors, um, and then I started to create the, those uh, deep space effects on or horizontal canvases. I don't paint like that. I paint horizontal canvases. Everything is on the ground or, or on the tables. Uh, <coughs> um, later I found that those molecular interactions between the diverse ingredients um, had like mathematical patterns of fractals that also describe celestial movements of galaxies, cellular processes in the body, and I found the similarity between those biggest format in the universe and the smallest format in the universe. Um, at first, I only showed my paintings to family and friends um, who enjoyed them and encouraged me to keep painting, <laughs> you know, the, those hazardous figures that appeared uh, so unexpectedly in my art. Um, at this point, I hadn't any aspiration to show my paintings, um, but I didn't worry about anyone, anyone's opinion. Later, I found how, how uh, uh, freeing this, this, uh, this sensation of just painting, doing whatever you like uh, without uh, thinking what, what is the next step with this, with this canvas that you are making. And in uh, 2006, my small um, uh, hometown, Ramat Sharon in Israel, organized an open house weekend uh, where uh, residents um, opened their homes to, to share their personal artwork. I enlisted myself. And it was the first time I ever showed my paintings publicly. Um, I showed before in 2001 in, the, in my master's uh, home, but it wasn't really, it was only uh, uh, close friends, family that, that showed, but this time I didn't know exactly who would come. It was published all over the town and people came. And the most common reaction uh, from the neighbors, uh, because m most of the people who were living in, in my hometown, was it's different. It's different. <laughs> what they saw on the, on the walls is, is different. Uh, um, they, they say I've, I've never seen something like that before. Uh, and one of the visitors was a curator. Um, I was a creator uh, who invited me to uh, for a solo show in Tel Aviv. Um, as more people were exposed to my paintings, I I was really amazed by some of the strong reactions to them. Um, some people burst in tears, just like that. They look at the painting, they burst in tears. Um, some moved saw the painting, moved, and back again, and moved, and back again. Like something drew them to, 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 those, to those images. Um, and I noticed that it it's, w wasn't only in, in Israel. Uh, um, since then, I, I showed a lot in the world, and I, and I saw it again and again that not all the people, most of the people are not noticing at all my art. They, they are not connecting. But there are people that, like, magnetized. And I search for people. It, it's really interesting to, to speak with those people. What, what made them come again and again? I had, I had a very um, interesting experience in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Um, I um, exhibited my, uh, my art there in the, during the Art Prize, which is one of the biggest uh, art shows in, in the States. Uh, and I saw a man looking at my paintings uh, for hours. I didn't identify myself. Um, and just observe him coming back again and again. The following day, he brought his wife. Uh, and on the other day, uh, he brought his, uh, uh, his friends. And then the other day, he brought more people. They came directly to my paintings through the main door of the, uh, of the show. Um, it was at the Vos uh, Convention Center. Uh, the Vos Cent uh, Convention Center is one of the biggest uh, places to show art in, the, in Grand Rapids. Um, they had then uh, more than 400,000 visitors um, at the show. And um, that man presented my work 
to his entourage and started to analyze them. Yeah, just looked at, at the paintings, the world there, like audience, and he started to speak about them. I was there posing, you know, just listening to what he said. Um, and um, and but, but I listened very carefully to his scholar, scholarly perspective. Later, I, I found out that he was a psychology professor in the university, and I've learned from him a lot about my art. He, he, he saw repeating patterns and symbols that I have not seen before, uh, or even intended to paint. It, it was there, and he saw it. It wasn't like uh, it was something that, that went through me to the canvas. I wasn't aware of it, but he, he spotted it. And later, later I found out that it's um, a pattern that comes again and again in, in the art that I'm, that I'm making. Um, and it just how the paints, you know, happened to Melange. He talked about primordial patterns, the tuning fork principle, the psychology uh, archetypes. Um, I finally introduced myself to him uh, on the last day of the show and asked him to open more the tuning fork um, uh, aspect, which was very interesting for me to hear from him because it, it was the first time that I'm hearing such a thing about related to my art. Um, and um, um, I learned that uh, from that, from, from his explanation, that uh, when I work, I, I leave me alone because it's not only me. When, when the artist is working, on the canvas or on his um, uh, art mm. and he's tuned to what he's doing and he's like, like losing himself in what he's doing is attuned to a certain kind of frequency energy that this comes as a result on the canvas the canvas the forms and shapes on the canvas are about the custodians of this kind of energy now if a person comes from outside a visitor a spectator in 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 an art show and he sees something, he can connect to that, to, the, to this very uh, kind of essence, if there is this kind of tuning or resonate in himself. Um, and um, from that, uh, th th this is basically the principle of the tunic fork. Um, and th this kind of essence liberates, liberates, fulfills, uh, and it brings people uh, to connect to, to something they can't, uh, cannot exactly identify what. You know, it's not the subject matter, and it's not the, the, the art movement, um, and it's not the technique. It is something deep inside that resonates with this kind of, of frequency that emanates from the, from the uh, artwork. Um, and the more I show my paintings around the world, uh, the more I enjoy people's diverse reactions to them. Um, and because people started to, started to ask me, okay, what are, you, what, what are you doing? One of the reasons I'm speaking, explaining it, what I'm doing, from where, where it all stems, um, uh, I decided to, um, to uh, move it forward and to teach people. And in 2009, I started to teach. The, the, I call it the Free, Free the Life Within You workshop, because the fly workshop, Free the Life Within You. Um, for full expression through art. We mix the creator, the observer, nature, media together, and magic happens. Thank you very much, and have magic in your life.